Today's presentation is an overview of CAPS is Services. We are the Counseling and Psychological Services Office, which is located at the IU Health Center on the fourth floor. You are able to get in touch with CAPS by calling 812-855-5711. First and foremost, we do want to welcome you to CAPS, again, the Counseling and Psychological Services Office. You can see from this photo that this is what the Indiana University Health Center looks like. And again, that's where we're located, predominantly on the fourth floor, although our staff did get so large that some of us are located on the third floor as well. The health center in general is open Monday through Friday, 8 until 4.30 p.m. And the same hours apply if you are looking to schedule virtual services as well. The health center is located at 600 North Jordan Avenue. Or if you are someone who utilizes um, more locations and landmarks, that is right across the street from the Wells Library. Again, our phone number is here. And I do encourage you, feel free to pause this video and put that phone number directly in your phone. That way we are accessible to you. And in the case of an emergency, you can call that number too. We'll talk more about what you can do for emergencies later on in this video. Now, due to COVID-19 concerns, CAPS will still be functioning. We're just going to be functioning a little bit differently. We're going to be providing our services mostly via telehealth and virtual programming, but the best place for you to go is to our website to receive any new updates. So we are going to update our website continuously as we make any changes or additions to our services, both in light of the COVID-19 pandemic and just in general too. Here's a great picture of our CAPS and SACS staff. Again, you already know what CAPS stands for, but SACS, that stands for our Sexual Assault Crisis services. So we have SAC staff members um, working for CAPS as well. Now we're very diverse in educational backgrounds. So we're comprised of psychologists, mental health counselors, social workers, and psychiatrists. But we also bring a lot of diversity in other ways, including demographics. We provide our services not only in English, but also in Spanish, Mandarin, Hindu, and Urdu. So if you are looking to schedule counseling services, in any of those languages, what I encourage you to do is specify that at your initial appointment or when calling to schedule with the front desk, and they will be able to get you scheduled with a staff member um, who is able to provide that service in that language for you. Now, during regular academic years, CAPS also has embedded counseling services in other locations on campuses. This includes a variety of different schools at IU or departments which includes Jacobs School of Music, School of Optometry, the O'Neill School of Public Health, which was formal, formerly called SPIA Chemistry. And we also have a Let's Talk program, which has counseling services in various cultural centers on campus. So what makes this program really wonderful is you are able to not only have counseling be accessible to the department or location that you spend the most time in, but you're working with a counselor who spends parts of their days and parts of their weeks there. So they're able to get to know the nuances and unique cultures of those individual um, locations, departments, and schools. Now, I should mention that these different locations, again, during regular academic years, are open to students who identify with those departments, cultural centers, or schools in general. So if you live across the street from the optometry school, but let's say you are an education student, you are unable to access the services at the School of Optometry just because it might be a little bit closer to where you live. That is a service that is open to students, again, who identify with those specific departments. Now, it is important to mention who utilizes CAP services in general, and we see a variety of students, and this ranges in terms of variety from presenting concerns to a variety of different demographics and the length of treatment. Now, we crunched our numbers, and in the 2019-2020 school year, as you can see here, CAP saw 4,396 students for 18,282 sessions. Now, students range in terms of how many sessions they typically come in for. That can range from one or two appointments all the way up to closer to eight sessions as well. 
And as you can see from this chart here, you are able to look at the variety of different demographics of students that we serve. Predominantly the students that CAPS serves um, or who come into CAPS are white individuals, but we also serve Hispanic, Black, African American, Asian, American Indian, or Alaska Native, and several unreported um, students as well. It is our goal to ensure that we are continuing to serve our students on campus um, and continue to break down barriers to having a variety of different students um, and underserved populations from seeking CAP services as well. And again, we will talk more in the future about how we are working to do that through our multicultural outreach program. Let's talk now. There's also a variety, as, as mentioned before, of presenting concerns. Bar none, the main presenting concern that we see is certainly anxiety, but as you can see, it ranges from depression, adjustment, phase of life. And let me pause here. Some of you might be wondering, what is a phase of life related problem? It is just like it sounds. Anything that you are experiencing that is causing you concern that is related to the phase of life you're in. It could be problems from rushing a sorority. It could be problems from qualifying exams, if that's where you're at in your PhD program, so on and so forth. Relationship concerns, which expands far beyond just um, a romantic relationship, but could include friendships and um, roommate relationships, substance use, grief, parent-family concerns, eating disorders, body image, academic problems, ADHD, sexual violence, assault-related concerns, bipolar, and much, much more. So if you are experiencing any of these Throughout your time at IU, we encourage you to get in touch with CAPS to see what available services you have that could fit your needs. Now, as mentioned before, we do have a pretty robust option of different treatment treatments and services at CAPS. This includes individual, group, and couples counseling. Again, couples counseling is beyond just the romantic relationships. It could be roommates and friendships, as well as psychiatry care. We always have after-hours crisis services available and emergency appointments. Dial 812-855-5711 and select option one for after-hours concerns. And then during our typical academic years, we do have face-to-face -face emergency walk-in appointments. So if this were a typical academic year and you were on campus, you would be able to walk yourself or any other student over to CAPS and be seen relatively quickly for an emergency. Free drop-in appointments through our multi multicultural program, again, which we'll talk more about later, sexual assault counseling, and other free workshops. So that's just a great overview of what CAPS offers. And again, it's fairly robust just in terms of the variety of services. Now, we do want to talk about how COVID-19 will be impacting us. And as mentioned before, we are going to be offering most of our services virtually. Now, due to licensure restrictions, students must be located in the state of Indiana or Illinois to receive counseling, if that's group, couple, or individual counseling, as well as psychiatry care. So if you are located outside of the state of Indiana, what you will be able to utilize CAPS for would be any of our free online workshops, or you can connect with us and we can help you get connected with a counselor in your local community. Now, again, I encourage you to keep up with any of our changes to CAP services in regards to COVID-19 or in general by utilizing our website. CAPS's primary goal is to ensure that we are still continuing to support our students' mental health and well-being, but that we are doing it in a way that keeps our students and our staff, and our staff safe. Now, here's how you access our services, and it looks a little different if you're looking to schedule a CAPS appointment or a SACS appointment. Now, for a CAPS appointment, all registered students who have paid the health fee, which most students have, are offered three different types of free appointments. The first is a free 30-minute assessment appointment that gets you oriented to CAPS, the services, and helps you determine what you are needing from there on out. And then two free additional counseling appointments after that. Sometimes the only thing a student needs is one free 30-minute assessment. But should you need anything beyond that, that appointment will help you get um, oriented to what services could be a good fit for you. Now, once your free sessions have been used, health insurances are able to be billed. If you don't want your health insurance billed, or let's say you don't have health insurance, or your health insurance doesn't cover CAPS, 
your bursar bill is typically charged. Otherwise, we are able to um, take credit cards and so on and so forth. You can contact the IU Health Center billing office to receive more information on that or contact your health insurance to figure out uh, where CAPS falls in terms of coverage. You just call our general appointment line to get scheduled or if you are scheduling your first 30-minute assessment appointment, you can log on to your student health portal to schedule that. Now that is only for that initial appointment. If you're looking to get scheduled with your typical provider, you would only be able to call the health center to schedule that at this time. Now scheduling looks very, very similar for SACs, but the main difference is that all SAC services are free. This includes psychiatry care, group counseling, couples counseling, individual, so on and so forth. SACS also has a different after-hours crisis line, which is 812-855-8900, but scheduling is the same way. You call our appointment line. Now, what I encourage people to do is to specify that you would like a SACS appointment. If you're not comfortable doing that, you'll just be scheduled for the free 30-minute assessment, and that counselor will help you get in touch with the provider that is going to best suit your needs. As mentioned before, we do have emergency services options and we'll continue offering emergency services in some capacity even though we're remote. Our available emergency options include our crisis line, calling 911, calling the campus police, visiting your local emergency room, and then the SACS crisis line is here. Now an emergency is something that we are unable to deem for you. You can utilize any of these services if you need immediate support or if you're concerned about somebody else's safety or overall well-being. So if you feel that you absolutely cannot wait, that you are experiencing an emergency, that is all a good indication that you should utilize one of those emergency options listed. Again, during typical academic years, we do have emergency walk-in appointments, which you are able to seek out yourself or by walking another person um, into our office. Again, continue to visit our website to receive updates about when face-to-face -face services will resume. We also offer group therapy, and group therapy um, is a very different type of service option, but this allows students to receive more of that weekly service, um, those weekly services that they might be wanting or needing. And we have them in a variety of ways. This includes interpersonal process therapy, support groups, as well as psychoeducational groups. Now, due to COVID-19, all of our groups will have been moved to an online format until further notice. Again, our website is the best place to go to receive continued updates in regards to when we will be providing face-to-face -face groups, but that is also a great place for you to go to see what types of groups we are offering for the fall and spring semesters. To register for a group, you must be referred by a CAPS counselor. So what that means is you can specify at that 30-minute appointment that you'd like to do a group and they can help make a referral for you there, or you could be referred by your typical individual counselor. The other important information is that you must be located in the state of Indiana to have group therapy services too. But this is a wonderful option for you to receive support that might be more specific to what you're needing. You're able to be in a room with other individuals who can normalize and validate that experience and it provides you um, the weekly treatment that a lot of students are really wanting and needing. We also have online workshops. Again, these online workshops are wonderful if you are located outside the state of Indiana or if you're wanting more free psychoeducational resources. So we offer psychoeducation online workshops Thursdays from 4.30 to 5.30 Eastern time. Again, it is important to specify the time zone depending upon where you're located throughout the academic year. The workshops are going to range in a variety of topics, which include things like stress management, anxiety, time and procrastination, as well as some related to coping with COVID. You can visit our website to schedule those workshops into your calendar and to see what we're offering and when. As mentioned, this is accessible to all of our students regardless of location. And the newest service that I'm really excited about is going to be a video library where you are able to go and watch a number of different pre-recorded coping skills webinars. They're going to function just like the live workshops. So they're going to function in terms of the same length of time. The only difference is 
it is pre-recorded. So you are able to access that at two in the morning from your bed if you want to or at any time of day um, and kind of go at your own pace. So again, visit our website that will be coming uh, early fall, hopefully, of the 2020 school year. In addition to the psychoeducation workshop, we have different mindfulness workshops too. We have regular mindfulness and advanced mindfulness. And on our screen is just a snippet of information that was taken directly from the website about what mindfulness is, bringing attention to the present moment with acceptance, why this is beneficial, as well as our dates and times. We run this through Zoom, so you just visit the website, you click on that link, and it'll take you directly into the Zoom room to have that um, mindfulness workshop completed. Same thing stands with advanced mindfulness. So this is a great place to go if you're already familiar with it um, and you'd like to engage in more regular practice. And that is located typically Fridays from 12 until 1 p.m. And again, you click the Zoom meeting and you insert the password to be included in on that. And again, both of those services are typically able to be accessed to anybody out, even outside of the state of Indiana. Now, as mentioned before, we do have our SAC services, our sexual assault crisis services as well. This is free counseling services that are available to anybody who has experienced um, anything related to a sexual assault. So if you are coming in and you are wanting to do some counseling work related to any of those listed concerns, this is going to be a great service option for you. As mentioned, it is free. Um, it includes individual group counseling, support groups, psychiatry care, information and assistance with medical, judicial, or legal issues. It's available for all genders and identities. All of the services are free, and it is an extension of CAPS, which means you are working with a counselor who has been specially trained in trauma-informed care and working with individuals who have experienced trauma or sexual violence, um, which can just be a really, really great option. Our Let's Talk program, which I've peppered in some information about this so far, what this is, is this is our multicultural outreach programming. I kind of like to call it non-emergent drop-in appointments. So Let's Talk Now is basically those drop-in options. If you are needing something immediate, but it is not an emergency, what this typically looks like is um, you coming in to a variety of different locations, meeting with a counselor for about 30 minutes about whatever you're needing. So you would be able to access our website, see where we're located, and just show up and literally start talking right now. Now, again, because of COVID-19, this is likely going to look pretty different. And I do encourage you to visit that website to see how we are offering Let's Talk Now programming in light of the current COVID-19 situation. Let's Keep Talking is an extension beyond that. It's formal counseling, but it's aimed at really serving our underserved students. So we're typically located in a variety of different cultural centers on campus. Um, if that's Asian, La Casa, Neil Marshall, Group Scholars, OIS, DEMA, so on and so forth. And you call CAPS to schedule that appointment or you specify that at your 30-minute session. Again, because CAPS is providing mostly virtual services, you would not be coming to that location. However, you are still able to work with the counselors who would be typically working at any of those cultural centers on campus. Just specify that when making an appointment. And continue to visit our website for updated information about how Let's Talk Now will look in light of the COVID-19 situation. WellTrack is this brand new service that CAPS is offering, and it is a fabulous, fabulous app that you are able to use. It is self-help therapy, so what you're able to do is you can download it and register. It helps you deal with stress, anxiety, depression, helps you monitor your mood, connect with campus resources. It is just a wonderful app that we have partnered with to be able to serve our students in terms of providing them help and services and support right at their fingertips. So I do encourage you to download this, play, play around with it, see how this can be used either in conjunction with the therapy or other services you're receiving from CAPS or even outside of that as well to do some self-help therapy. Now, last but certainly not least is just how you stay connected. I've continued to harp over and over throughout this presentation the importance of checking our website, and I truly mean that. 
In light of the current pandemic, and even outside of the current pandemic, CAPS is always looking for new ways that we can serve our students, which means that we do have changes from a year to year or a semester to semester basis, depending upon what our students are needing differently for that academic year. So a great way to do that as listed at the very end is by visiting our website. But let's say you might forget to do that and you want CAPS to bring you information directly to your inbox, sign up for our CAPS, our CAPS listserv. You are able to do that on our website and it's going to come into you typically about once a month where you are able to see any type of changes that CAPS has. Another great option is social media. We try and post on there fairly often on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth. Just look at, at IU Health Center. And again, we will continue to post different updates or resources that are available on there as well. And again, just a quick overview. We've talked about all of these fairly in depth today, but we do try and reach our students in a relatively robust sort of a way through sexual assault crisis care, multicultural outreach programming, free workshops, which, is, which are psychoeducation based uh, or mindfulness based, psychiatry care, couples counseling, group counseling, and individual counseling. So again, if you are just not sure what you are needing, that is not a problem. If you just know that you want to get in touch with CAPS, you can again give us a call by calling 812-855-5711 to schedule your first 30-minute counseling appointment today where you are able to get oriented to our services. And through that appointment, you and that counselor can work together to determine what type of treatment option is going to work best for you. Thank you so much for attending today's presentation.